What is up guys, it's me Grady and today we are back and today we are making a review video of um, Hot Wheels monster drugs I got from um, when I was in Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, but as well I got one truck here when I was here back home. So um yeah, and I got um, five really good Hot Wheels monster trucks. Um, four of them I got them for on um, three three Kings Day basis. If you're if you know if you're Hispanic, you know what that is. Basically, you get one gift. You just get one gift basically on Hispanic Day. And I got one truck from Target, which I got it from here when I came back home. So, um, yeah. But um, these are all the trucks I got, basically. So, I'm going to show you the trucks that I got from the Three Kings Day. So, basically, uh, right here we got the, if I'm coming, this is the comic version of Roger Dodger, which looks fantastic. With the comics, basically, you know, if you see, if you have, if you remember, you know, reading, you know, more comics like superheroes, basically, is basically what it is. Um, the next one we got, uh, Hotwiler, basically. This is the, if I'm correct, this is the, uh, I don't know, this is the Biden crew, basically. And then this one is basically him being a ghost or a skeleton, actually. Yeah, she is a skeleton, actually. And it looks awesome. You know, I never had a while. I didn't have the original, fortunately, so I'm not going to be, probably not going to be able to find that one, fortunately. But it looks awesome to actually get Hot Wilder, basically. So it looks awesome. We're, it's going to be awesome to review that one. Um, next one, we got Town Hauler, a mud version, if I'm correct. This is the mud version of Town Hauler. I don't know what the Town Hauler looked when it was not in mud, but I'm pretty sure this is what, what the paint scheme is, basically. I don't know. If maybe you guys could tell me. But um, looks awesome. Looks awesome, this um, Town Hauler. And uh, can't wait to review this one. Um, we're going to review this one last. Um, next one. This is the one I got from Target, basically, here when I got back home. Uh, this is the Carbonator. Tour, I think as you say it. This is basically a soda can. Uh, monster truck basically because it looks like a, because it's a soda can we'll review it even further once we basically um basically open it and everything basically we review it so um yeah but honestly it looks awesome i can't review this one but this is the one that it was actually it really caught my attention when i first saw it when i opened the box well basically my present basically this is cage rattler basically and it looks awesome this is really an awesome snake one they did um but um yeah and you can see here are the trucks in the bag you know here's hard weather raj dodger town are basically the four trucks we have right here beside me basically they could have found maybe the others but that's okay but um yeah but um anyways what we're gonna do right now is unbox we're gonna box all these right here, review them, you know, very quickly. You know, not to now. We're gonna make now. We're not gonna make this video too long, basically. So right now, give you a moment to unbox these, and uh, we'll go review them. All right, third time's a charm. Trying to make this video on my phone. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because I have no storage to make recordings because I deleted almost all the videos I have on my phone, and apparently I still have problems with it still. But um. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't stop the recording. I'm praying to God it doesn't. So um, again, uh, take three. I'm trying to review all these five trucks right now. So um, right now, um, right now we got right here our uh, Roger Dodger. This is a truck I got. With basically, the, basically all these four right here I got it from the Three Kings basically. And um, I gotta say, Roger Dodger for me personally is probably my favorite Roger Dodger out of my collection. Of all the Roger Dodger, but it's basically I only have two base. I have basically the silver Roger Dodger, which I'm pretty sure you have seen in my video, and also the one where it has the small wheels and the big wheels on the back. I don't know why those cars. I think they're called drag race, basically, if you want to call them. But um, yeah, but this is probably my favorite Roger Dodger because it has the comic, basically theme. Basically, you know, you got Pow on the hood on the top. You got Crash right here. You know, you got Vroom right here on the side with the Hot Wheels logo. And the other side has a Hot logo as well, too. Um, the back doesn't have nothing, barely. You know, if you can see in the back, there's nothing in the back. Uh, the front hood does have great detail, basically. You can see it has colored uh, lights with other lights as well, too. And, um, yeah. Uh, the roll cage is all purple with the chassis being light blue. Uh, the rims are basically special flame purple, basically. You know? And, um, again, this is a, probably my favorite one out of all, out of all the... Um, out of all the Roger Dodgers I have in my collection, basically. I only have two. This is my third one. And this is number one, basically, of all the Roger Dodgers I have. So, um, yeah. And you do get a crush, a crush car, basically. I don't know what this car is, basically. I have no clue at all, because I don't know all the Hot Wheels cars, basically. But this is supposed to represent a Hot Wheels car, basically, if I'm correct. So, um, yeah. 
but that's the basically when that's basically all Raj Dodger basically you know that's nice to say you know everything looks cool about Raj Dodger and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who has this in my collection so um yeah but again if you don't have it try to get it it looks kind of cool actually from, from my opinion next we got Hot Wireler basically Hot Wheels version of Monster Mutt Rottweiler basically and um honestly it looks it looks awesome AC but it's representing it's supposed to represent it says you want to say Halloween version basically but the head the top to here has basically a skull basically and right here I think this is supposed to be an arm basically if I'm correct I could be wrong I don't know about that this could be an arm or not I could be wrong you guys could tell me probably I don't I don't, I don't know but um yeah but everything else you know it has chain right here with a broken chain um I don't know, is it recording? Yeah, it was recording. I thought, I thought it wasn't. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> let me go slowly here. But, uh, uh Rob Weiler looks... Hot Weiler looks awesome, you know. Hot Wheels logo right here on the top. Um, everything, again, represents a skull. You know, you got the teeth in the front right here. You also got teeth right on the side. You don't see them, but it is... There's teeth right here. There it is. There's the teeth. There's the teeth. You can see in the light, basically. You can see the teeth right there. And on the side, is the same thing as well. You see the teeth as well, too, right there as well. Um... Everything else looks awesome on this truck. Um, you do the roll cage is all black, basically. You know, because probably represent for the blood body it has. But again, great job from uh, Spin Masters again. From not Spin Masters, <laughs> I keep forgetting. This is Hot Wheels. Great job from Hot Wheels. But again, this is supposed to, basically this is basically a knockoff of Monster Mod Rottweiler from Monster Jam. But you know, sometimes you, when you you have to compete to do well in the in the industry, you need to basically be something similar to your company and this is the this is a car, crunch car you get from hot Wider, basically you know it's basically a car i don't know what car it is but it's yeah but this is basically a car you get from it so um yeah all right next town hauler this is honestly i don't know much about town hauler maybe some of you guys know but but um yeah but Town Hauler is basically a completely mud mud monster truck, basically. Everything it is covered in mud, basically, you know. And it looks really cool, you know, especially from the front here. It has the mud on, on the windshield. And it basically, get, it's getting cleaned by the wipes, basically, which looks kind of cool, basically. Uh, everything is mud, you know. You guys, the logo, which is 022. Not sure if this is supposed to represent something or not. But um yeah, but you get you do get sponsors right, which I'm not sure if they're real or not. Maybe you guys could tell me if these are real or not. But um yeah, top right here you got the Hallways logo, Hallways logo, and also other sponsors as well too right here as well too. You do get other sponsors as well. On the side right here is the same thing, same thing as for you see in the top hood. Basically all the sponsors you get the Hallways logo right here, zero two two right here as well. Uh, the bag is kind of curious for me because the back. The, the this is supposed to never get never gets covered but this time in this one it is which i'm kind of reasoning kind of figure out why they did it basically but, but maybe we won't find out maybe maybe because they want the body to not get bent basically but i guess part of kids when they hit it in the ground in the back right here it just gets bent very easily and i guess that's why they had to do it like this basically which maybe it makes sense for them to do it but um i like it when when it's none so um yeah but um, the whole whole chassis and everything, chassis, mud, rims, roll cage, they're all covered in mud, you know. And town hauler, town hauler looks fantastic. And I can't wait to see this truck compete, compete in competitions when we see it. So um, hopefully it does well, maybe. So um, yeah, uh, you do get a crush car, but it's base. If guys, we all we all know what this kind of looks like, honestly. When you when you look at it very closely, and um. I usually sometimes I forget what these v what these things are called basically the car basically so um but I I know what it is basically because I've seen it on YouTube basically especially from Todd Legdut if you guys know him from Megalodon he drove those basically so um yeah next we got Carbonator Nator I think that's how you say it Carbonator Nator I don't I don't know man I hope I said it right Carbonator XX Lime uh, basically, it's supposed to represent a soda can, basically, which is kind of cool. I kind of like when Hot Wheels think outside of their box and think of something that maybe no one has ever done, and they decided to make a soda can monster truck, basically. And it's kind of, well, not soda can, basically, a soda, I don't even call it, so basically, we just, we just call it soda can for now, soda can monster truck. And it looks awesome. Basically, it looks exactly what a soda can looks like in real life, basically, if you have bought those, basically. And 
and it looks awesome you know the front is in front we see has the hot wheels logo basically on the on the basically the bottle cap you want to say it basically if you i don't know what that i don't know what these are called in the old days honestly um the whole body is all plastic basically so it's not metal or anything it's just plastic so you can see through the body and see the see the the driver well not the driver but basically where where they sit basically but the whole body right here the bottom blue and everything it's all metal and this right here is supposed to basically when you get a soda bottle you can actually use this to actually pop the clip off from it actually which is kind of cool actually from how we was doing it actually and i might have to use this probably when i'm trying to drink a soda i just grab the truck and I, and drink soda you know i might have to do that probably but we'll see about that <laughs> but um again the whole uh roll cage is all green the chassis is basically basically uh basically the regular when you see it from all hot wheels mosh gym and also hot wheels so um yeah but again a uh, great job from um hot wheels thinking outside of the box when they're making these so i uh, can i cannot wait you know, if they do make another version of these, maybe with something else, maybe having a different name. But we have to see if they do another one of these, and hopefully they do come again next year. You know, so, um, yeah. But again, great job from, not from Spin Man, from Hot Wheels for making it. Here's the current chart you get from it. It's orange, you know, regular car, basically. That's all it is. So, um, yeah. But now this. This is probably, I think, for me personally, my favorite of all the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks I have in my collection. And this is literally number one. This is Cage Rattler. And this is the thing I got from the Three Kings Day, basically. If you know, if you're Hispanic, you already know what that is. You get one gift every year on, in, on the Three Kings Day. And basically, this is what I got. And it looks awesome. Like, it looks fantastic. I, ever since I saw this one, I couldn't take my eyes from this. It just looks amazing. It's basically, it's supposed to represent a rattlesnake, basically, from... Not right, not, not a rattlesnake, but basically a cobra. Basically, if you want to say sorry, a cobra. Basically, if you know what a cobra is, basically one of the most dangerous snakes in the world. Which, which if you get bit, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks awesome. The, the snake head looks fantastic. They make a great. They made a great job making the snake head look fantastic. You got the teeth right here. You got the tongue right here. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what these are called. Base. I don't know. I, I maybe mean, I'm not a person who knows a lot about cobras. Basically, um, you got the you got the whole body with the tail goes all the way over here. Basically, you got the cage rattler right here. The back you got a bigger logo based of the cage rattler basically, and you got monster truck hobbies on the top right here. Um, the roll cage is all orange with the basically chassis being basically what it is always, and the rims being green, which makes it cool. Makes it, it looks cool for the truck. Um, but this is like, again, this is literally my favorite from the Monster Truck, from Hobby's Monster Truck. This is literally my number one in my collection. And if you have not got a chance to get this one, go get it if you have a chance to, if you got a chance to see it, go get it. Because it looks phenomenal and it'll be great for your collection, honestly, from my opinion. So, um, yeah, but go get it if you haven't. And here's the country you get from me, just regular car basis. So, um, yeah. But, um, anyways, guys, um, that is it for today's video. You know, I might do another one probably Monday, maybe. Um, so, um, yeah. But, so, Monster Jump Sam Series 80, uh, will, I will release the date on Monday as well when I'm going to do the video. So, um, stay tuned for that one. So, um, and there will be more videos coming up, you know, in the next coming days, maybe. Hopefully. So, um, yeah. But, anyways, guys, um, Again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like bro hit the like button, um, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.